YouTube Zookeeper today again with an update on my Volkswagen that's a VOLTS wagon square back EV project so here we have the uh, open inverter uh, GUI graphical user interface and the little open inverter vehicle control unit right over here with the little open inverter squiggly insignia I have the inverter plugged in to the vehicle control unit I do not have the enable pin powered up um, that's hiding behind here um, so right now this wire is the one that supplies power to the um, enable of the MG2 um, output which I'm sh pointing and you can't see but the output for the MG2 on the inverter and what I'm going to attempt to show today is the resolver encoder signals and there's a special procedure you have to have in order to do this and um, you have to put the um, you have to put the uh, uh, vehicle control unit in manual mode so um, at the top here where the commands lines are you hit start inverter in manual mode oops alright so then if you scroll down it should say inverter started and it does then I'm going to go down to spot values and hit refresh and it should say inverter in manual mode we'll come, oh no yep there we go manual run and I have to scroll down to uh, angle which is right here and I have to click one of these two little dots to get the uh, so the interface system knows what I want to monitor and then I scroll down to plot and you can see here I had the plot from before and I'm going to start a new plot and you'll see that come in and there's the squiggly line from the resolver encoder I'm going to try to spin this MGR as slowly as I can to get a nice signal but it's kind of a bear to get going there you see I'm going to zero oh that it stopped again <clears throat> once you get it going it's pretty easy but it's not easy to keep it going and you see it's it's scrolling between zero and 360 degrees now one of the reasons this isn't very keen there it stopped again is that you can see the wave and it goes from zero to 360 degrees the motor spins about um, six times for every spin of the output shaft and I'll just scroll over to the output shaft let's see where is it uh, you can kind of see it back here um, and that causes problems with the um, frequency here because this the motor is spinning six times faster than the shaft so I don't get the detail I'd like to get that normally you'd just be able to take that shaft and spin it really super slow but I can't because of this the gear drive I just can't get it that slow but what we can see is it does go from zero to uh, 360 degrees up oh, there see ah, darn thing. Um, and so we know our resolver encoder is working and the wiring is all working so we should have motor control if I can get the outputs to work um, at least I got this piece back and that's super helpful I'm spinning this slow as I can folks ah, and that stops so anyway that is an example of how to verify that your motor encoder works with the open inverter hardware and software. If what we do has any value, please consider a small Patreon support donation. Thank you and have a great day.